Welcome to the tutorial on how to create a lesson. I will show you how to do that simply. Uh, you will click on the Teach button, which is our go-to button for most of the tools we'll be using. And so once you hit the Teach button, you will notice your classes are listed again. In this case, we'll hit New Class. We've, in the last tutorial, figured out how to put the curriculum and class description in place. Uh, let's go ahead and move forward and we'll do the lessons and how to set one up. So in this case you hit the lessons tab right here you hit create lessons and we will title this new training lesson one. The default editor which is a pretty comprehensive tool lets you do all kinds of things. Um, I'll just label it here new lesson one, we'll go ahead and bold it, and you can do things such as add images. Please notice when you mouse over parts of the editor and the icons, it'll explain what they do. You could put an image if you want to embed one. You can upload it from your computer, and then it puts it onto the server and makes it available. It also loads it nice and fast once it's on the server. Um, in this case, we don't need to put an image right in there, but I want to show you that capability. Um, I will show you, however, to in this visual age, I believe we have to use a lot of multimedia. So I'll go to YouTube. I've uh, searched the word out, training for social studies, and I'll just go ahead and cut and paste the embed code. Notice how every YouTube video has a couple ways to share the video. One is embed. I've clicked that button. I'll go ahead and click copy and it will copy this embed code which we can then put right into our editor. You simply hit source and then you hit paste, cut and paste and hit save. And within seconds you've created a nice visual lesson right here. Notice how it says um, new training lesson, lesson one, and there's your video. Now I want, I want to highlight a couple of things. Obviously you can go back, you can edit and put instructional guidelines in such as please watch the video below and take notes. Hit save now something for a teacher when you have more content and maybe uh, extended paragraphs you may want to instruct the students to check for comprehension so you can put teacher notes in there hi students please explain in your own words what Think of this like a teacher looking over a shoulder of a student and making sure that there's remediation and comprehension checks. It's a really nice feature because you could literally thread with 30 students individually all the way through. So I wanted to show you that. Now let me show you what a lesson might look like that's more developed and the potential that you could actually see. So in Social Studies 1, we've taken some of the content and this is taking some of Cicero's content and I wanted to show you what a video may look like that's already built out with presentations and then you could hyperlink PowerPoints in and please notice how it pulls those up with um, the viewer and presentations and so forth all within that lesson editor. So I'll stop there for now and just wanted to show you how to use the tool. Okay, we will next time talk about quizzing, assessments, and uh, how to upload resources as well. Okay, thanks.